now available in paperback and Kindle Unlimited. Isis, all that glitters. The goddess next door takes on a bikini-clad bank robber in this action-packed all-new Isis series adventure. Get Isis, all that glitters in paperback and Kindle Unlimited today. Coming to Kindle Unlimited this April, E-Steam Goddess of Hell's Aspiring Angel takes on a demonic dominatrix in this all-new E-Steam series adventure. Pre-order your copy of E-Steam Goddess of on Kindle Unlimited or pick up the paperback today. A couple of months ago, there was a major controversy over the film Green Book. And this Oscar-winning film had a major controversy because the family of the late Dr. Don Shirley was upset about the way Mr. Shirley was depicted in the film. And this was understandable because the film took significant liberties with Mr. Shirley's story and changed the complete narrative of his story to reflect what white people in Hollywood wanted to see regarding Mr. Shirley's story, not telling an accurate story of Mr. Shirley's experience and Mr. Shirley's life. So I understand the anger that the Shirley family has regarding Green Book. However, there is a lesson here for everyone regarding Hollywood and signing your rights away to a production company so that they can make a film regarding your life. Now, when it comes down to Hollywood production companies, they don't make a story of your life. And this was something I read in the book, Sid Field's Screenplay. When it comes down to production companies, they make an adaptation of your story. And in an adaptation, you are not getting the accurate story of a person's life based on historical facts. No, you are getting an interpretation of details of a person's life that is written for the screen to make it appear to be more entertaining to viewers. And when you make an adaptation, you are making characters that are based on somebody's life and inspired by somebody's life. And those words are the ones you have to look out for along with adaptation when you are looking, when somebody is coming to you trying, saying that they want to make a film based on your life. Because when it comes down to adaptation and an interpretation, the picture can be changed from what reality is because the production company wants to tell a story not about your life but a story that fits their narrative regarding what they want people to see about your life and usually if you can get a good production company like your spike lee and his 40 acres and a mule when you're a black person you can get a fairly decent adaptation in a biopic like a malcolm x However, the production company that seems to have contacted the Shirley family regarding the rights of Dr. Don Shirley's life and the people who owned the Green Book, it, did, it seems like these people had an ulterior motive when they went out here to buy those rights for to make their film Green Book. And once they got the rights to the story of Dr. Don Shirley and the rights to the story of the Green Book, it looks like the production company decided to change the story to fit their narrative regarding the life of Dr. Don Shirley, and they decided to change the narrative of the story of the Green Book to make it reflect their narrative regarding race and race relations. And when it, as relates to Dr. Don Shirley, they decided to make this man's character in the film a homosexual, which I found questionable because your Dr. Shirley was a heterosexual black man who was married. So the production company decided to change the narrative there. And then they tried to change the narrative of your Dr. Shirley's relationship with the driver to make this one of these race dramas with the magic Negro and the white person 
who needs to understand about race and race relations, and they decide to mix in a little message about being tolerant to gays as well. So they decided to rewrite the story of Dr. Don Shirley and the Green Book, and they decided to infuse identity politics into that story. And that's what a production company can do in the case of an adaptation, because again, an adaptation is not an accurate story of a person's life and the events of a person's life. No, an adaptation is a production company's interpretation of events in a person's life that will be shown on film, and the story you get may vary from production company to production company and screenwriter to screenwriter. So this is something everybody really needs to think about before they sign on a dotted line for a contract for a production company because when it comes down to a production company once you sign your rights away and they pay you for those rights what happens is you have no more say over anything regarding that story because once you sell a your rights to that production company they can then make whatever story they want to make in their adaptation of that person's life and that's one of the things black people really need to think about when they go out here and a production company contacts them and says they want to make a production of a family member's life in an adaptation or if even if they want to go out here and sell a screenplay to a production company. Now as a screenwriter myself I understand that once I sign away my rights to the story and I sell my story to that production company that story no longer belongs to me it now belongs to them and they can then take that story and make modifications to it and adapt it to fit whatever narrative they want to tell and whatever story they want to tell about whatever I'm writing about and it's these types of terms that people really need to think about before they again sign on that dotted line because if you don't think about those terms before you sign on the dotted line these production companies will take your story and they will alter it in ways that take it off the course of truth like in the case of Green Book where they took your Dr. Don Shirley story which was supposed to be about him going to historically black colleges and universities and needing the driver to take him there so that he wouldn't get attacked in the Jim Crow South and they turn it into this race drama and they have it where he's going to all of these CD dive bars and places in the South that and also make it this race drama and they did that because one they wanted to have more dramatic purposes in the story and two they did it because that fit Hollywood's narrative and Hollywood's story that they wanted to tell about black men that black men go to CD dive bars to entertain and play music because they have the stereotype about black men going into CD bars to play this jazz music and they also wanted to push that again homosexual agenda with Dr. Darn Shirley and present him as a homosexual and again they did that because once those rights are signed away they can go out here and take your story and completely rewrite it to reflect their narrative, reflect their views, and to promote whatever agendas that production company wants. So this is why anybody who has a story out there, whether it be a screenplay, a novel, a short story, or even a story in their personal life, has to be careful 
when they go out here and deal with these Hollywood production companies, these Hollywood agents. These people are not working on your side and they are out to take your story and rewrite it once they get a hold of either the rights to your story, the film rights, the television rights, or the net or the streaming rights, whatever rights they get, what they want to do is take the get the rights to your story, pay you for the rights to your story, and then after they pay you for the rights to your story, what they're going to do is then make this adaptation, and this is going to be in your contract, adaptation of your story, hire their own screenwriters, have their screenwriters rewrite your story, and then they will then go out and then make their movie based on what their screenwriter has written, and that story will not be true to you unless you understand what, how to be actively involved by doing things like saying that you have to have a say in the contract because if you just take whatever money they give you they will they can just take your story and do whatever they please with it and you'll be like the Shirley family extremely upset because if you sign your rights away they can make that story whatever they want however they want and it may not be the most flattering picture of you, your family, or your story, and, or, and in some cases, it may not even possibly even be your story put on that screen, depending on how bad that contract is. So that's something everybody, especially black people, need to think about when they go out here and they want they get an offer from an agent and an offer from a production company you have to think about what your rights you're signing away because yes the pay may be great for that screenplay or the film rights to whatever novel you're selling but what could really really hurt the most is having an adaptation that is not true to the spirit of your material or true to the spirit of your family's life story and life experience because having a story on stream that stays true to the letter and spirit of your family's story and life experiences or the book or television show that you have written that to me is more important than having a production company make give you money to make an adaptation and that adaptation not be true to what actually did happen because when it comes down to entertainment it should be true to the material the heart of the material the soul of the material and the spirit of the material not rewritten and revised to reflect somebody else's narrative because if it's telling somebody else's narrative it's just not telling your story if you'd like to try my screenplay books all about Marilyn and all about Nikki you may do so by clicking the link to amazon.com in the description box and if you want to try some of my other SJS direct publications like the Isis series the e Steam series the John Haynes series and the Spinsterella trilogy you may do so by clicking the link to amazon.com as well and if you want to help me make more videos like this you can donate to my patreon by clicking the link in the description box. That's all I have to say for this video. You can comment, rate, and subscribe. The Isis graphic novel Indiegogo is live. Help me publish the first comic book featuring the goddess next door by putting in a pledge today.